Finally tonight, books often experience a new wave of popularity after they've been turned into movies. And in a similar way, a couple of paintings are now competing for attention after they became the subjects of novels. Here's Anthony Mason. She arrived at New York's Frick Museum like a touring megastar. The girl with a pearl earring was given a room all her own. Lines formed, visitors gawked at Vermeer's masterpiece. It's amazing. It's just lovely. I mean, it's just lovely. Judy Blakey and Sarah Campbell came from York, Pennsylvania to see her. What is it about her expression? It's the way her mouth is open and that surprised look on her face. I just think it's beautiful. But something happened in another room at the Frick. Another Dutch painting started drawing attention. A painting of a pet goldfinch chained to its perch. So there's a new star. There is a new star, maybe a co-star. Margaret Iacono is assistant curator at the Frick. It's actually quite small. Very small, I think uh, the bird is now blown up in people's mind because of the book. <laughs> the book is Donna Tartt's new best-selling novel, named for the painting. I am in the middle of the book. Is that why you're here? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sue Anderson came from Atlanta. So was it worth the trip? It was absolutely worth the trip. It's pretty magnificent. I mean, just, just to see it. What has it done to attendance? What's happened? Our numbers have soared. Uh, we've had the greatest attendance we've ever had. In the gift shop, the goldfinch now has its own tote bag, just like the girl, whose fame also soared after it was the subject of a novel in 1999. Like Vermeer, Carl Fabricius, who painted the goldfinch, lived in Delft in The Hague. But in 1654, a massive explosion in a gunpowder factory killed the artist and destroyed most of his work. When the goldfinch's home museum in The Hague restored the painting in 2003, they discovered microscopic damage. So it's been surmised that perhaps the painting um, was in the rubble. If that's the case, the bird's survival is kind of remarkable. Very remarkable. It would be sort of like a phoenix <laughs> kind of rising out of the ashes. Two masterpieces now have found new audiences because of novels. Isn't it great that culture lives? <laughs> At age 360, the goldfinch is suddenly an ingenue in the art world. Anthony Mason, CBS News, New York.